Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explain in details on solid solutions. So that will be the fundamental knowledge of the solid state of the two metals. So let us start. Solidification of an alloy result in a formation of one kind of the crystals in which both the metals are present but they cannot be detected by microscope. So such kind of situations the both the metals it will be having a hundred percent solubility like copper and nickel. If I want to add copper and nickel with any kind of proportion from 10 percent to 90 percent from both the end and it forms a single solid materials. So by the application of microscope both the metals are present but they cannot be detected. Although the properties of the crystals are profoundly changed. So according to the proportion of copper and nickel that will be having a such kind of property. So the major constituent from the copper or nickel so such kind of property it will be present. So according to the in more number of weight percentage of copper or nickel it will be having a such kind of property. So in such a case we have a solid metal in which the interatomic state which existed in the liquid solution has been preserved after the solidification and it is known as a solid solution. So in the case of the copper nickel systems both the metals it will be above the melting point of the copper or nickel it will be having a hundred percent solubility into liquid state and from that liquid phase to the solidification process at the room temperature. So it will be having a different kind of new materials from the copper nickel alloy. So such kind of example it will be called as a solid solution of copper and nickel. So one more example I would like to give you the carbon it will be added into the iron and to form the steel or cast iron. So for iron carbon diagram carbon that will be added into the iron and to form the steel or it will be form cast iron. So depends upon the weight percentage of the carbon it will be formation of the steel and cast iron and to form the new material. So carbon that will be mixed with the iron so it will be formed on new material so that new material it will be called as a solid solution of carbon and iron. Or in a simple way the definition of the solid solution that will be one element dissolved in another to form a single phase solid solutions. So let us see that dissolve element it will be called as a solute and the major proportion it will be called as a solvent. So solute atoms it will be mixed into the solvent structure and to form a new material or you can say to form a single phase new material. So it will be called as a solid solution. So that will be the simple definition of the solid solution. So one more time the technical definitions the atoms of solute it will be occupying the space into the solvent structure and to form the new materials and that will be called as a solid solutions. So once again solid solution that will be having a subtypes according to that solute and solvent. So now we will discussing with the various kind of solute atoms and the solvent atoms and how it will be going to be mixed to form the new materials. So let us see. So we discussing for the solid solution so basically that will be the mixture of solute atoms plus solvent atoms. 
so which elements that will be having a less percentage that will be act as a solute and which element that will be higher concentrations that will be act as a solvent so basically the solid solution it will be representing as a total mixture of solute plus solvent atoms and to form the new materials so how it will be going to be changed just we discuss so in first case if solute and solvent atoms it will be having a same size or you can say same size of the atoms so it will be called as a substitutional solid solution now other another side different size of the solute and solvent atoms so it will be formed so interstitial solid solutions so now we will see first one and that will be the substitutional solid solution so as we already discussed the solute and solvent and to form the new materials so solute and solvent having a same atomic size to form substitutional solid solution and for smaller size of the solute and larger size of the solvents so it will be forms interstitial solid solutions so in general way it will be not the necessary things so always the solute it will be the smaller size and solvent it will be the larger size but if the difference between the atomic size of the solute and solvent it always makes a interstitial solid solution in case of substitutional solid solution a solute atoms may occupy the position or occupying the space in lattice of the solvent structure or you can say solvent metallic structure so this kind of structure is called as a substitutional solid solution so let us see with the example of substitutional solid solutions so if you find that one solute atoms then the atoms it will be arranged like this so just you can see such kind of arrangement of the solute and solvent if this one is a solute and this it will be solvent so the solute atoms it will be occupying the space into the solvent structure and the structure of the solute and solvent it will be perfect order so just you can see that will be the alternate arrangement of the solute solvent solute solvent into the all the structure of the new material so that will be called as a perfect order substitutional solid solution because the size of the solute and solvent it will be almost same so that will be form substitutional solid solutions and if you observe the perfect order into the structure so once again the substitutional solid solutions it will be classified as perfect order substitutional solid solution if it will be the perfect order structure now according to the occupying the space of the solute atoms into the solvent it will be random so just you can see so just you can see this one it will be the solute atoms and blue color it will be act as a solvent so in second case if you observe the structure you can say random structure for the formation of the new materials if it will be having a same size of the solute and solvent so this structure it will be called as a random order substitutional solid solution substitutional why because the size of the atoms of the solute and solvent which is almost similar and the structure you found that will be the random order so that will be called as a random order substitutional solid solution 
so according to the positioning of the solute atoms into the solvent structure it will be further makes a two different kind of substitutional solid solutions so perfect order substitutional solid solution and random order substitutional solid solutions now i will talking about interstitial solid solution now in case of interstitial solid solution so if the small atoms of the solute metals get positioning or you can say occupying the space in the interstice of the solvent material structure and to form a new material so that will be called as a interstitial solid solution materials so as we already discussing if the different size of the solute and solvent so it always forms interstitial solid solution so just we see the example of interstitial solid solutions let us see so just you can see this one it will be the solvent atoms and the smaller size it will be act as a solute so as from the interstitial solid solution the small atoms of the solute that will be occupying the space into the solvent structure and to form the materials it will be called as a interstitial solid solution so similarly if you find the perfect order structure so it will be called as a perfect order interstitial solid solution if you found the random structure so it will be called as a random structure interstitial solid solution but by the practically for the both the cases of substitutional solid solution and interstitial solid solutions it always found a random order structure so here that will be the example of iron carbon diagram so this small size of the solute it will be act as a carbon and this green it will be act as a fe so the best example of interstitial solid solution it will be iron carbon diagram so iron carbon diagram is nothing but it will be a interstitial solid solution of carbon and iron where the carbon it will be act as a solute member and iron it will be act as a solvent structure to form the different kind of materials so if carbon it will be added into the structure up to the 2 percentage so it forms steel if it will be more than 2 percent percentage so it forms cast iron so greater than 2 percentage so according to the weight percentage of carbon into iron and to form the new material so it will be steel or cast iron so for the formation of a steel or cast iron or you can say talking about iron carbon diagram so in one sentence it will be nothing but interstitial solid solutions so for here the substitutional and interstitial for the solid solutions so once you mix two metals into to form the new materials so it will be look like such kind of arrangement into the structure and according to that size of the solute and solvent it will be basically dividing into two categories so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching